I am just not a very good Canadian. And by that I mean that when the temperatures start to resemble something like this, I tend to hibernate. I'm not that type of Canadian who wants to bundle up and head outside and go for long walks. I'm not that type of Canadian who wants to go snowshoeing, skiing, fat biking. No, I'm the type of Canadian who wants to turn the heat up and uh, dream of warmer climates. I'm the type of Canadian who wants to stay inside. I'm okay with riding in the basement on days like this. Minus 28? Come on, you kidding me? Anyways, enough about the weather. What I want to talk about on today's vlog is things that we, that's Linda and I, need to purchase for 2024 cycling season. There's a few of them. They're not all super important. A couple of them are pretty important. Um, and then there's one surprise at the end. Don't turn off because it's a goodie and you're gonna to wanna to see it. Now, the first thing that we're gonna need for 2024 cycling season, and this one is pretty important. Linda needs some new tires on her bike. Linda really likes the fatter tires, so she has a Cervelo C3, which was their first go around at an endurance bike. And one of the cool things about it is it introduced her to fatter tires, uh, hence you can run a lower tire pressure. So she loves the comfort of that. So she's looking for anything, again, 700 cc, probably in and around 30 mils, 30 to 32, 33, if, if those are available, and, and probably slicks. I run these Envy SCS 700 by 29s. 29s, but once I get them onto my Envy 3.4s, they probably stretch out to a 30, 31, and these are tubeless, super comfy. So Linda does not have a tubeless compatible wheel set. She's still running inner tubes, but I think that we can get her some Conti GP 5000s, which are 700 by 30s. They're not gonna be cheap, but I think uh, that's a good tire. I've run them in the past, and I think that will give her the plushness and fatness that uh, she's looking for. The next thing that we're gonna need for 2024 and this one is more of a nice to have than a desperate need for. So I upgraded to the Garmin 530 a couple of years ago. This is it here. Um, I handed down to Linda the 520. Um, this is a, still a pretty good computer. Uh, one of the problems is the battery is starting to die a little bit. So, and it doesn't have the pins on the back to support an additional battery pack. So this one is kind of on its last legs. I'm still running the 530, no problems with this. Great battery life. This one does have the pins in case I wanna do an extended ride and put the additional battery pack on the back. Uh, no issues with this. But I am thinking of handing this one down to Linda and getting rid of the 520, giving her the 530, and I'm looking at the Garmin 840. Any feedback you have on that, if you guys have used the 840, one of the big differences is is I think it's basically the same as the 530, uh, but it has a touch screen. Um, of course, technology moves along. I'm sure the screen is a little bit better than the 530. Uh, I'm sure the processor in there is a little bit faster. Um, maybe it has more maps. Maybe it's a little bit quicker. All of that to say is it's not a desperate need for 2024, but I'm sure Linda would, uh, wouldn't mind an upgrade from the 520 to the 530. The next thing that um, we're gonna need for 2024, and I tried to do this in 2023 and uh, wasn't very successful. So in 2023, Linda didn't desperately need a new helmet, but it was probably time. I don't know if it's the helmet manufacturers or marketing or bike stores who put the information out there that after so many years, it's time to upgrade your helmet, whether it's through the absorption of sweat whether it's the UV rays that weaken the foam, I'm not too sure. But there is a time limit on helmets, apparently. And it's around, what, three, four years, they say? Something like that. So Linda has been riding this Scott Centric Plus for four, five years, something like that. And uh, she loves it, it fits very well. She, um, she finds it comfortable. It does have the MIPS technology, so it, it's all good. It, uh, it ticks all the boxes. But what we tried to do was get her into a POC helmet. 
in uh, 2023. So one of the things with the Scott was this is a size small. So I went ahead and I thought that uh, the POC size small would fit, but as you know, not all heads are shaped the same way and not all helmets are uh, ideally suited for uh, certain types of head shapes. So I went ahead and got a small thinking that that would fit. Turns out it was too small for her head. So we went to the bike store. I think I did a vlog on that and uh, looked for a medium, which I wear, POC helmet. We got one, she tried it on, seemed to like it, went for a few rides and found that it was actually a little bit too big and that she had to really ratchet down the tension on it to keep the helmet on. So it, it wasn't very comfortable and it left this, this red mark and uh, gave her a headache at the end of the rides. Again, she's kind of like between sizes with POC. So maybe POC is just not the best helmet for her. So in 2024, what we're gonna do is replace the older Centric Plus helmet with a newer white edition of the Scott bucket. And yeah, hopefully she'll love it. Okay, thanks for sticking around to the end. Here's the big news. A new bike in 2024 is on its way. I don't want to divulge too much information about what this new bike is. If you are a regular viewer of my vlog, you will know that I bought a very expensive custom-made steel bike in 2023. That is my Mariposa. I will put a link in the description below to the full expose on that bike. So why, you ask yourself, am I getting a new bike? That's a very good question. I will, <laughs> I will divulge more next week. I am super excited about this new bike. It's a little bit different. It is still a road bike. It is not a mountain bike. Um, by road, I probably mean more all road. But uh, there's a little bit of legwork involved in me going to get this bike. So join me next week when uh, you can join me on my travels as I go and pick this bike up and um, divulge a little bit more information as to what it is exactly. I, I'm stoked, I can't wait. So a few things that we need to pick up in 2024 to enjoy our cycling season. I'm sure we are not gonna limit our purchasing to just those four things. There will be other ancillary purchases throughout the course of the year, cycling related. I will keep you abreast as to what those are. So new tires, possibly a new bike computer for Maddie, hand-me-down for Linda, definitely a new helmet and definitely a new bike for Muggins here. I can't wait to, uh, to share the details on that bad boy next week. I am now gonna go put on another sweatshirt because I am freezing. It is frigid in the nation's capital. It's supposed to warm up next week. And by warm up, I mean it's not gonna be minus 28, maybe minus 10. Have a great week. We will regroup next week when you will be joining me on my trip to get the new bike. <laughs> Exciting. Take care.